everybody. As a service to our clients and prospects, ThrottleNet has created Tea and Tuna, a weekly series containing tips to help maximize the power of your PC. I'm Jackie, and today Frank is going to help you improve your computer's performance. So grab a wrench and let's get to work. Welcome to Tea and Tuna. This week we're going to discuss how to set up your email on an Android device. I'm using a Google Nexus 7 with Jelly Bean, Android version 4.4.2, for just as an example. Um, all the other Android operating system versions are very similar. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing you want to do is just click on your All Apps button. Inside that screen will be all of your apps. The main one we're looking for is the uh, Email button. Inside the Email button, there will be other email accounts that you already have, um, or if you don't have anything installed, we're just looking for this little th three button, the three button button up here on the top right-hand side, and you're going to click on Settings. All right, inside the settings, we're going to look, click on Add Account. Okay. And inside Add Account, you're going to see this email account. Most work emails that you're going to be setting up this way are going to be very standard and similar. You should be able to just type in your email address and password. If not, they will give you more information. You're going to want to click on Manual Setup. Inside there will probably be an Exchange account, so we're going to click on Exchange. Inside there, it's going to be asking for your incoming server settings. You will have to get this from a server admin, or you can give us a call on the help desk. Um, and it'll have our username, your password, what server you're connecting to, um, the port and the security type, and then you will click on Next. Okay, when you click on Next, it should ask for your outgoing server settings as well. You will also have to get those from your server admin or your Exchange admin. And that should be it. If you do it either manually or if you do it automatically, you should now have all your work email on your phone. Um, and now you're all tuned up. Thank you for watching T and Tune Up, and we look forward to seeing you next week.